Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about inverse variation. Last time, we have uploaded a video about direct variation, which is the first type of variation. By the way, this is a series of topics about variation, wherein for most of us, grade 9 students, maraming kayo matutunan about inverse variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. The concept of Inverse variation is summarized by the equation below. We have here y is equal to kx. So y is equal to kx is simply the direct translation of this phrase. Y varies inversely as x. So as you can see, this one is different from the phrases that we encounter natin when it comes to direct variation. So again, you need to memorize the two things about inverse variation. First, it's general equation, y is equal to k over x, and then yung ating phrase, which is y varies inversely as x. And then another thing about it is that when x increases, y decreases. And then when x decreases, the other increases. This one is the opposite part of, or the opposite of direct variation. Remember that when you say variation, it is the relationship between two things or two variables. In direct variation, if one variable goes up, the other goes up also. And then if the other variable goes down, yung isang variable din natin ibababa. But in this case, in inverse variation, kapag yung isang variable natin, let's say for example, we have this one. Eh? So for example, your x increases the movement or the behavior of y of the other variable decreases. While if your x decreases, the variable y will increase. Ganyan yung behavior ng ating inverse variation. So let's move on with our examples para mas lalo nyo maintindihan about inverse variation. Sabi dito, if y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 9, when x is equal to 4 over 3, write an equation that best describes this variation. So here, in our first problem, we are asked for an equation. Parang tinatanong dito, dito ano yung general equation ng problem ito? Sabi, y varies inversely as x. So dito pa lang, ikat na natin yung problem natin. Wherein, this part of the problem can be translated as y is equal to k over x. Okay? And then, sabi, write an equation. So, ang kailangan mo natin gawin is to find the value of k. Magawin natin, find k. Now, in inverse variation, the formula in finding the value of k is none other than k is equal to xy. Simply multiply the two variables that are included with our variation. Again, to find the value of your constant of variation, simply multiply your x and y. So we have our x be equal to 4 over 3 and your y is equal to 9. So substituting these values to the given equation, you have k is equal to 4 over 3 times... 9. So when we multiply this, we can cancel out 3, and this one ay magiging 3 na lang. So we can multiply 4 times 3, your k is equal to 12. Now, since you already have the value of k, yung next step mo dito is go back with the general formula. Wherein, papalitan mo lang yung k natin. So you have y is equal to 12 over x. This is the equation for this problem. The answer or the equation that best describes this variation is y is equal to 12 over x. Let me give you the second example in this video. We have if y varies inversely as x and the constant of variation is k is equal to 7 over 2, what is y when x is equal to 10? So, what is y when x is equal to 10? So, basically, 
Uh, what I'm doing here, kung ano tinuturo sa mga bata, I, we are dividing this problem into three. Ito yung first part, second part, at yung last part. Okay? For the first part, you need to create your own equation. Kasi hindi naman laging y sa x. Sabi dyan, y varies inversely as x. So, to translate that into inverse variation, general equation, that will be y is equal to k over x. And normally, sa second part natin, we are trying to find the general equation. Pero, meron na tayong k. So, if your k is available, your k is equal to 7 over 2, pwede na tayo mag-generate ng ating equation. So, ating k is equal to 7 over 2. You have y is equal to, palitan na natin to ng 7 over 2. You have 7 over 2 over x. And to simplify this, ang nangyari lang is that magkakaroon kayo ng y is equal to 7 over 2 at kunin natin yung reciprocal ng x. So that is times 1 over x. So your general equation is that you have 7 over 2x. Or mas madali naman, hindi tayo mahirapan, since fraction naman itong ating k, ang gagawin mo na naman, you need to replace it equal to 7, y is equal to 7 over 2 x. Ganyan lang simple. Ito na ngayon yung equation natin for this variation. Ngayon, we are ready to find the value of y. Find y. Using this equation, y is equal to 7 over 2x. Yung x natin is equal to 10. So, para dito tayo may harapan, we, we, only need, we only need to substitute the value of x. You have y is equal to 7 over 2 times 10. You have y is equal to 7 over 20. And pwede niyo simplify, pero pwede rin naman hindi. So you have here, ito na yung ating value ng y. Ah, sorry. Uh, that is a simplified form already. Okay? So, let's move on with item number 3. This one is quite complicated compared to item number 2. If y varies inversely as x and y is equal to 10, when x is equal to 6, then what is y when x is equal to 5? So basically, divide that as the first part, second part, at third part. In first part natin is for the general formula, y varies inversely as x is directly translated as y is equal to k over x. And then, this part, ito yung gagamitin natin to find the constant. Find k muna tayo. Ano ba yung purpose? Ba't natin kailangan hanap yung value ng k? Para makapag-generate tayo ng equation na pasok sa variation na to. Or sa problem na to. Your x is equal to 6, your y is equal to 10. Using this formula, y is equal to k over x or gamitin natin yung k is equal to x y your k is equal to 6 times 10 so the constant of variation is 60 right after getting the constant of variation balikan mo to ngayon tanda na after mo makuha yung constant of variation balik ka sa general formula papalitan mo yung value ng k so our equation for this problem is y is equal to 60 over x. Okay? Yan yung, ito yung equation natin. Ngayon, sa main problem na tayo. What is y when x is equal to 15? So, lagyan natin dito, find y. So, using this equation, y is equal to 60 over x. Your x is equal to 15. Now, y is equal to 60 over 15. And simplify natin yan. Your y is equal to 4. This is the value of y. So, I hope na natutunan nyo. Pero, 
may check tayo. May check tayo. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo kanina? When we say inverse variation, ito yung behavior ng variables is that when the other, when one variable goes up, yung isa ay bumababa. Pero kung yung isa naman ay bumaba, yung isa ay tataas. Observe natin. In this part of our problem, your x is equal to 6. And then, your y is equal to 10. Sa part naman ito, we are asked, what is y? When x is equal to 15. Okay? Look. Look at the variable x. Or the values of x. From 6, it became 15. Again, from 6, it became 15. Yung behavior ng ating variable x ay tumaas or nag-increase yung value. Ibig sabihin, since this one is an inverse variation, we will expect that the other variable will go down. So, as you can see, yung sagot natin is 4. So, yung x variable natin is tumaas from 6 to 15. Ngayon, from 10 to 4. Bumaba ngayon siya. Definitely, this example is under inverse variation. So, again, clarify lang natin ha. In this problem, your answer is 4. Itong part na to is for checking lang. Buburin ko na siya ha. Okay. Now, I hope na natuto kayo sa ating tutorial video about inverse variation. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat.